All right, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, I do believe. Yeah, 10 a.m. Uh, we have a um, live uh, consultation with one of our students. As you all know, that's part of our personal um, attention services that we provide, which is the live consultation. Um, and today we have um, Nina, and she is scheduled her consultation for an hour so we can discuss whatever we need to discuss about our platform, logistics, and freight and booking freight from home. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll get started right here, right now. I'm going to unmute her mic. Okay, Nina, how you doing? I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. So today, first of all, how long have you been with our platform? Um, I started February of 2019, but um, I have sickle cell anemia, so I wasn't able to study. But I said when I got out of the hospital in March, let me back up. Mm -hmm. I was in the hospital for like six weeks. When I got out of the hospital in March, I said I'm going to go for it. So March, I, um, I really started studying. That's, that, that's what I can say. Okay. All right. Yeah, look. I can appreciate that. My sister, um, she has um, lupus, and so, and she deals mm -hmm. with a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of up and downs and things like that. And, and it's kind of difficult for her to work a regular job because of all the things that she's going right. through, her medical stuff. So, so, so I certainly understand and emphasize with that. Um, all right. So. Um, uh, your camera, you can you you can actually turn your um your camera off because all I'm getting is a is a red screen. <laughs> okay, so oh okay. So, so so you don't necessarily have to have your camera on. Okay, so right let now, me turn it off. Now. Okay. There's a red screen. Just leave your mic on. Okay. Okay. All right, and so you still there? Is it off now? Yeah. Yes, I'm still here. All right, great. Okay. All right, so what can we help you with today? Um, okay, I, yesterday I got my first carrier. Yay, me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, I, he is power only and um, out of Delaware. And, mm -hmm. you know, on the carrier agreement, he only wanted to go like, like a certain amount of miles and, um uh, deadhead, um, he only wanted to go like 25 miles, and it, it's been really <laughs> difficult trying to, trying to match him, you know, with his like, criteria that he requested. And I know I called you like twice yesterday, Calvin, and I was like, oh, I don't, you uh, know, oh. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. See, you run into a common, a common problem with these new truckers. <laughs> Because uh, he's probably he's probably very new to the business, okay. Mm -hmm. um, he you know went out and got himself a truck and didn't even get himself a trailer. That's a that's a good sign right there that he's he's he's, he's, he's not really up on how to make real money in this industry. Okay. And 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 and, and when he comes in, says I don't want to be here twenty five miles. <laughs> um, you know, he might he you no know, I mean he might as well go put it in a application at Coca-Cola and just drive for the you know, because, because, because look, look, you've got to find a way to educate that driver. Okay, you got to find a way to, to bring him back to, to reality because, look, okay. you know, <laughs> look he, 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 he has got to be willing to, 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 to make money. You, you can't make something okay. happen for him to only want to be here 25 miles. I mean, come on. That's like down the street. <laughs> so, so unless he's willing to leave his backyard, he's not going to make any money unless there's a whole bunch of business, a whole bunch of shippers that's right there in his little town or in his in his city that's right, you know, where he is. I mean, come on. I mean, if he's in – where is he from? In what, in what city Delaware. Is All right. Wilmington. <laughs> Wilmington, Delaware. All right, the town of Wilmington yeah. is bigger than is bigger than twenty five miles, right? <laughs> so, so he's not even willing to go across town. <laughs> he's not willing to go across town to pick up a load. So that's just how ridiculous that sounds. Okay, so so when I get carriers like that, 
the first thing I tell them is, look, and this, and this is exactly how I handle it. When I get, when I get carriers like that, and they say, uh, I don't, I don't want to be here on 25 miles, I say, uh, um, excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you have me, conf- I, 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 I'm sorry. I made a grave uh, mistake. I had you confused with somebody who wanted to make money. So if, if you're stuck on the 25 mile thing, let's go ahead and save each other a whole lot of time right now. I'm gonna go ahead and and, and just cancel our and cancel our agreement because I need to find someone who really wants to make money. That's how I handle. All right. Now I'm just saying okay. that's how that's how I handle. But I do understand that this is your first one and you were eager to sign someone on, and that's good because because right. I because I, pr- I promise you you're gonna get a lot of practice with with this guy. You're gonna get a lot of practice. I mean, you, I mean, <laughs> I mean you're not gonna find any lows, but you're gonna get a lot of practice. Because you're going to be looking and looking and looking and looking. You're going to be on the load board. So you're going to get very familiar with the load board. You're going to get very familiar with the procedures. You're going to get very uh, familiar with the whole structure of how everything works. But your chances of you booking this guy low, mm, I wouldn't I wouldn't start. I wouldn't go out and charge anything that you're planning on paying for with the money you're going to make off this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just. I mean, I'm just. You no. Know, yeah. That's just. That's that's just how that stands. Now, with that being said, with that being said, power onlys. You can find those for power only, but but power onlys, especially, they got to be willing to, to to travel to go get a load because they're power only. Right. They're already working at a disadvantage. Okay. So. There's not a whole lot of loads just laying around within, you know, 75 to 100 mile radius of where they just got trailers that need that need to be picked up and moved. Now, what power only are really really good at is empty trailer moves. Um, you know, um, dropping hooks. I don't know if you know what a dropping hook is. You know, dropping hook is when you when, when they have a trailer when they have trailers that's already loaded up. You just go in and pick up the load, and you're just gonna hook up to it, and you're just gonna pull it off, and you're gonna drop it somewhere, and you're just gonna drop the whole load. Then you, then you go to, you gotta go find you another um, loaded trailer, or you gotta go find you an, an empty trailer move. Now, now I know yesterday when we spoke briefly, when you called up um, to confirm your appointment, we talked about you had found a load um, for him, and it was all um, empty trailer moves. We you had called right. up the gentleman. And they had it listed on, and what what low board was that on? Um, I believe it was on um, Trucker's Path. Okay, so you was on Trucker's Path. Log into the back office here, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let me. I I, I log everything in. I mean, you know, I keep a, a um a handwritten notebook. So I'm just gonna go over my notes to make sure. Okay. So uh, you found this um, this load on Trucker's Path that basically had like how many trailers that need to be moved? It, it said boxes, right? Which I'm assuming th- those are box trailers. That's what that is. Right, right. And then the lingo. I guess it was a um, a language discrepancy. I couldn't understand the guy well. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Because normally when they say we have you know box. In 250 boxes, this he's not talking about the number of boxes that's going to go in the truck. He was probably talking about the number of box trailers that needed to, to be moved. Because 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 you said that he that he, the load had until next Wednesday to to be completed. Yes. Right. So. Yeah. And how many and how many and how many trailers was it? Um, I think he he just said fifty boxes. He said to get a free okay. trail and fifty boxes. All right. So so fifty boxes. So I'm 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 thinking I'm thinking that's probably fifty um fifty trailers that's got to be moved. Fifty you know box trailers that's got to be moved because you got until next Wednesday to finish that up. So and this was yesterday when you find the load, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's an, so that's an entire week 
I mean, nobody needs an entire week to run and drop 50 boxes. It's, it's more than likely 50 trailers that's got to be moved between now and next Wednesday. Okay? And you said that the distance was like 200 miles, right? Yeah, 214 miles. And, yeah, it says um, it's an empty trailer and 50 boxes. Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking that empty trailer moves because the and, and guy had a language um, problem um, where he didn't speak very good English or? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, let's see here. Let me see if we can find that. It says and it's on truckers' path, right? Yeah, it went under truckloads, yes. Truckloads for carriers, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Where was it picking up from? Um, um, hold on. Uh, oh, goodness. It was, I believe it was from, um, Derek Freight. It was from, um, Delaware, I believe. Because they, they were looking to, um, to fill it yesterday. Okay. They may have filled it, but here, we're going to see if we can find it. No, I'm yeah. sorry. It was coming, it was coming out of, um, of New York, um, yeah, Grand Shore, New York, uh, um, the Meatpacking District of New York. Okay, what's what's the origin? Is it gr what? Hold on, hold on, let me, hold on, let me get it right. Yeah, the or the origin is um, New York City, so and, New York, it was, New York. and it was and it was going to Philadelphia. So New York, New York, and going to. Philly. Philadelphia. And it was 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 it it was power black, only. It, was, it was power only though. Yes. All right, let's see if we can find this thing. One exact match. Okay, so it, it may have filled it already. It was Philadelphia um, PA, right? Is where it was going, right? Yes, yes. Looks like they probably filled it already because I don't see it on yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it either. Yeah, he was anxious to get it filled. Yeah, I can't go back yesterday. I don't think I can do it. But it looks like it looks like they may have filled it already. But oh. um, but but anyway, is your guy anywhere close to New York, or or does he not want to travel t t to New York? Um, like I said, he's out of Wilmington, Delaware, and so um. You know, if he's first he's able to go all over, and then on the um, carrier agreement, um, then he puts down um, what did he, he put down like you know the deadhead is um, twenty five mile radius, and so <laughs> you know I, that just really stomped me. So I found that one, and it was I, I didn't understand the barrier, so I talked to you about it, and then when I talked to him, he was like. You know that's so far and blah 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 and I said okay. Yeah, look, look. I mean, your average deadhead is 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 gonna be you know anywhere from fifty to a hundred miles. Okay, let's let's just be honest about that. Okay, so if okay. this guy's this guy's not trying to make any money. I mean, he okay. I mean, he really isn't trying to make any money. But, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a hobby to him. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know why he went out and invested in a truck and, and all this other stuff because that's basically just a hobby. He, he's not trying to make any money. He, just, he he wants to just sit at home and he wants to call himself a trucker when he's not really doing any type of trucking. And he wants people to come and call him at home and say, hey, man, I got some stuff I need you to move for me. You know, that type of thing. You know, mm -hmm. this guy's not trying to make any money. Okay. Really, he's, not, he's not trying to make money. He's not trying to really um 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 he's not really serious about um this profession. So those type of people you don't waste time with because your time is money. This yes. is a numbers this is a numbers game, especially when it comes 
on the dispatcher side of it, you've got to do volume. Cause, right. Because you're, you're only getting 10% of the load. Right, speed. right. Now, that may sound like a lot to a lot of truckers, but really that's not a lot of money. You right. Figure, you know, that means that you've got to work hard to find the good paying loads so you can get paid decent money. You know, right. Because that means you've got to get out there and you've got to either find a whole bunch of $800 loads, $1,000 loads, $500 loads, right? Right. Or you've got to work hard to find you a good number, a decent number of two, three, and four thousand dollar loads. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So everything is about time and money when it comes to your side of it. So you've got to spend your time concentrating on the type of trucks or the type of trailers that's going to earn you the most money. You've got to figure out which trailers are, are, are that they're, that they're in an abundance of loads for. And those are dry vans, okay, reefers. And flatbeds. Okay, right. Flatbeds, <laughs> exactly. And right. if you and if you have enough experience and enough know how, auto hauling. Okay? Um, okay. But 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 you really don't want to jump into the auto hauling until you really know what you're doing. Okay. Right, right. But right. but but you no, know, you've got to concentrate on the dry van, reefers and flatbeds. Okay. Um when guys say power only, I mean last question. How far do you want to be at here? Ah, well, I want to be at here 25 miles. Okay, then I'm not the I'm not the guy for you. You need to find somebody who's willing to waste their time. And I don't mind being like the piece. Man, you're rude. No, you're rude because you I mean, you wasting my time talking about you want to make money and you want to want to be at here 25 miles. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, because I was yeah. on I was on the low boards for like. Oh, till, till about 1 o'clock in the morning, Calvin, about six yeah. hours of trying to look. Yeah, because, you know, when, when a driver tells me that, to me that's very offensive to me. I'm like, mm -hmm. really? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, you're wasting my time here on the phone talking about you want to make money and you want me, and you're telling me you only want to be here 25 miles to go pick up a load? I mean, dude, go drive for Uber. <laughs> okay, go just put your truck down. Go get you a car or SUV. Sign up with Lyft and Uber, and go pick up people and just drive them around town. You'll make right. more money doing that. Right, right. You so, what, what do you suggest for the mileage for deadheads then? Um, fifty to a hundred miles. Fifty to a hundred miles. Okay. Yeah, if, if they're not willing to go between fifty and a hundred miles, then they're not going to make any money. Deadhead, look. As, well, when it comes to power only. Now, when it comes to power only, you've got to really go out there and find loads. You've got to drive to get loads with power only because one thing, you don't have a trailer. Right, right. Because mm -hmm. when you go on Tucker's Pass and you put in deadhead, it, it it starts out like 200. So I'm like, okay, this, you know, about 200 miles, wow. I figure which probably would be yeah. average. <laughs> yeah, because if, cause if you don't have a trailer, I mean, you've got to be willing to travel to pick up your loads. Now, right. you've got it. Now, if you've taken the initiative and, and you've invested and you've got yourself a trailer, it's not going to be that hard for you to find loads that are local or loads that, you know, if you're in any type of, you know, populated city whatsoever, you're going to be able to find loads that are within, you know, 25, 30, and 40 miles. Mm -hmm. so, let's say, for instance, I'm here in Florida. If I go in here and I put in Havana, Florida, and Havana, Florida is 18 miles from here, okay? If I put okay. in, in Havana, Florida, all right? Well, let's just put in okay. Tallahassee. Well, I'm in Tallahassee. I'm in Tallahassee, Florida, and let's say I want to just, you know, I want to go anywhere. Yeah, but I'm not gonna put this PO stuff. Take out that power only. I'm gonna put in flatbed, drive in, and reaper. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Now now watch this. Now here in Tallahassee, let's look at the um the what you call it. You see these deadheads? Right? Okay. Yes. I I there's loads in, in Glenville, Georgia. There's loads in 
Got a whole bunch of loads in, in Cross City, Florida. That's, that's 89 miles. Glenville is 173. Mm -hmm. Then we got um, 89, 89, 89, 89. Let's see, let's see if we can find anything close. I mean, you got plenty of loads. And here's the closest right here. Havana, Florida, 15 miles. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I can, I can find stuff within, you know, in Metcalf, Georgia. That's 25 miles. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, right. yeah, if you got a flat, if you got a trailer, okay, if you got a trailer, you can find stuff like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this is what? This is a 48 foot, and this is a flatbed. Okay? Especially yes. flatbed. Especially flatbed stuff. Flatbed is good. If you're a dispatcher and you see and you see something that says flatbed, and, and that and that Jerry <laughs> Carl should be telling you that he's a flatbed, I would be willing to say you can even cut your dispatch fee on flatbed because that flatbed is going to make you money. Right. Yes, I I and, saw it a lot. Yes. yes. Yeah. And, and I always and I I'm one of the type of guys that I don't cut my fees. I I stick to my ten percent. I yes. think it's not ten percent. But if I got a flatbed and the guy says, "Yeah, I just need," to, and, he, and and if he says, "I'll go anywhere," look, I might be willing to go all the way down to six percent on that guy. <laughs> because why? Because I know he's gonna run. Because flatbed mm -hmm. is did it. Flatbeds are the easiest ones to find loads for, and there and and there's an abundance of them, especially if you've got a carrier who's willing to run. Right, right, okay. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> you know, so when a carrier says flatbed, and then my next one is reefer, and then dry van. Mm -hmm. Now, now dry van, you're going to get a whole bunch of them, but dry vans don't pay as much as the flatbeds or the reefers. Okay. For some reason. Well, mm -hmm. well we know why. They just don't. But, you know, <laughs> when you hear flatbed, mm -hmm. go for it. Go yeah, for because it. Okay. yeah, because like I say, with these see stuff like this, you can find stuff that's right in your neighborhood if you got a trailer. But right. if you ain't got no trailer, I mean, you're just wasting your time. Right. Okay. The, the second one I found from him was coming out of um, Newark, New Jersey. And that was with the um, with the porch, and so they're asking if he has all these different specifications, and um, and they were running like every two hours, you know, and they were paying I think like eight hundred dollars, and it was only yeah. one hundred thirty nine miles. But even yeah. that one, you know, yes, those was the, now, those are almost like dedicated runs because you can go back and pick them up anytime you want to. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That that's you know, what I, when I I I wasn't sure, but I called and I kind of acted like you know, I told him I was a dispatch company. I presented myself as a professional, mm -hmm. kind of you know, um, mimic the, the the script that you gave me. And so the guy was able to explain more to me, you know, about what was needed, like twit cards and ceiling cards. Yeah. Yeah. And so I said, okay, okay. Yeah, because you guys got to have it. Because anytime you're going to court, you got to have your twit card, and you got to have all your credentials. Okay. Right. Gotta right. Have, yeah. Gotta have all your conditions because they're very big on on the, on the anti-terrorist type stuff, and and they're not gonna let anybody in those ports who don't belong there. If you don't have the right credentials, you're not getting on. You're not gonna be able to pull it in. Now, some ports will allow you to come in without a twit card, but it's only at certain times. Mm -hmm. And you have to be escorted. Okay. Okay. If you don't have a twit at some ports, you can only get onto that port within a certain window. And during that window, you have to be escorted, and someone has to um, um, escort you, you know, the, you know, the entire time you're there. Okay, but generally, if you don't have a twit card, you're not getting on, you're not getting into the ports. Okay. Okay. So this why this is what I this is what I mean when I when, when I say if you've got a power only, that guy's got to be willing to to want to make money. I mean, they've got to yeah. want to make money. Yeah. They've got to want to travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if he's not willing to go to travel to, to pick up load, if he's not, if he hasn't taken you know, the time and, and invested the money to, to get his Twit car, his hazmat, and all that type of stuff, guess what? He ain't gonna make no money. That's no power on. Yeah, then now now that I'm talking with you, you know, um, you know, you said this is a dedicated, um, could be a dedicated run. When I presented it to him, he was like, all the way to New York, New Jersey. But this is a dedicated <laughs> run, you know, and I would I would have jumped on it. You know, so and it's, and it's only what 
Is a hundred and how many miles? One hundred and thirty nine miles. He could have ran about four of those per day. Right, and they were paying eight hundred, eight hundred and fifty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he could have look, he could have picked that up, dead headed back, picked up another one, dead headed back, picked up another one, and then dead headed back and picked up another one. Wow. And he could have made what's that? That's eight times three, that's what? That's twenty four hundred dollars a day, man. A day, yeah, yeah. Uh, is this guy I mean, come on, real well, no, eight times three is what? Eight times yep. Three is twenty four hundred, right? Right, right, right. So, so if you just stretch that to shoot, <laughs> he just stretched that to, to four. He could have made what three thousand dollars a day. Right, he could have. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try and educate Mr. Trucker. And if not, then I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, how do you turn down? I look. I would dead hit a hundred miles. I did hit a two hundred miles if I could make. Three thousand dollars a day. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on, man. This guy is not trying to make money. I mean, he, I, uh, I don't know. But but anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, my my advice to you is is get back out there. No, no. I mean, give him a shot. Call him back up. Say look. Say look. Now, I don't know how long you've been in the business. I don't know what your situation is. I don't, if you've been in the business very long, I don't know if you, you know if you just you know retiring. You got all the money you want to make, and you just want to just kind of just do this on the side. But I can't afford to, you know. And pardon my French, I can't afford to be someone's side piece. Right. Because I gotta make money. I gotta I gotta be your main. I gotta be your main <laughs> source of money because I need money. I need to make money. Okay. And if I'm gonna make money. I mean, I can't just be wasting my time trying to find you stuff that you're never going to run. Right, right. Okay, so right. you just need to just lay it out to him and, you know, to, to look, I, I, find some, I find some great loads. These are loads that the average power owner will be jumping all over, especially the ones that's paying, you know, $800 for a 130-mile run. <laughs> Come on, and, you, and they're picking up every two hours, they're giving you enough time to make the run, get back, and get another pickup. Right, right. That's, mm -hmm. why, they, that's why they got them spaced out every two hours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And the guy was ready to go. The guy at the port was like, you know, give me your MC number, blah, 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 and he, they were ready to go, you know? I mean, you could at least run every other one. You may not make them every two hours, but you can run every other one. Right. So you can run up there, take your hour and a half, hour and forty minutes to get up there, hour and forty minutes to get back. You pick up your third, no, you, no, you pick up your first one. You're gonna skip the second one, but then you pick up the third one. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right, then right, right. There, you, then you're gonna miss the fourth one, but you're gonna pick up the fifth one. So right. You're gonna pick up the first, third, and fifth one. That's three a day. That's three grand. Right, three grand. <laughs> that's that's thirty two hundred bucks, man. I'm like, come on, really? I mean, mm -hmm. minus a few. You're gonna spend about two hundred, three hundred dollars a few, so that's that's three grand. Right. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I mean what do you what's there to think about? I have I have no idea. The first thing out of his mouth is like, Oh, Newark, New Jersey, that's too far and I was like, Oh man, okay. Yeah, my advice to you is is go back to the drawing board, you know, go back to the you know, your uh your carrier search site. And you've been using the carrier um, search site, right? Mm, um, no. What is that one? All right. The carrier search site is where we go to find your carriers. Okay. Okay. And that is going to be on this one right here. And you're still looking at my screen, right? Yes, I am. That, that, that's going to be different. Okay. Quick transport. Oh yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that, that that's, that's where I found him. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's where you're gonna go to find your carriers. This is where you're gonna go to find your yes. carriers. Yes. Gonna go over here. There. Oh shoot! How did I lose it? Yeah. I like no. the, because it gives tells you like you know from when they were in the business, and I wanted somebody kind yeah. of newer since I was new to the business, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> new guys. <What>? I mean, <laughs> normally they're hungry. So yeah, that's a good. That's a good approach because normally they are hungry. Right. But, 
you know, um, mm, hold on here, go over here, resources. But no, you do have to make, but you do have to make calls to learn, though, Calvin. So you're right about yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta start dialing. You right. Know, that's how you, you know, and, and you're gonna go through a few, but after a while, before you know it, you're, um, you know, you know, I mean, before you know it, <laughs> you're like a pro on the phone. Right. You know? Right. Um, but yeah, you can go to this carrier search site and just put in whatever state you're looking in, and um, you can put in the number of trucks. You know, I used to deal with guys that's got one to five because right. you know, those right. are the, the ones who's going to be more apt to to signing on with you, and you right. want to get the interstate. Right. And then you just click search. And then it pulls them all up. Now you can also put in what type of tractors you're looking for. You know, one to five tractors or you know, one to five trucks or whatever it's going to be. You know, the company name. Yeah, it's all mm-hmm. type of criteria. But I just, those are the, are, are the three criteria that, that I put in right there. Right. The state, the um, the number of trucks, and, and the interstate. Yes. And then I yeah. search and then there it is. It pulls them up. And this right here, and, and, and this is in Florida. And Florida is not a real big trucking company. Be a big, big trucking state, but in this category, you got eighteen thousand nine hundred and sixty on operators. Right. Okay, and like I say, it gives you all the information. All you got to do is just go through and click on it. It tells you everything about that carrier. It's going to tell you how long they've been in business. It's going to give you the insurance information. It's going to tell mm-hmm. you about the kind of loads they run. It's going to, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, it's going to give you everything you need, all the contact information, right. everything you need to be able to call that that guy up and and, and hit him with your pitch. So. Right, right. Really quick, can you go down to to um, where the safety part? Of it? I had questions about that because mm-hmm. um, sometimes I see high numbers, so I wasn't sure should I worry about that or not. Because doesn't on, on this, on yeah, because it doesn't say um, you know like satisfactory like some other um, load boards will say or. Where we at on the safety yeah, down here? If, if you if you scroll up some more, you'll see. Should scroll up past the. Um, Keep scrolling up. Okay, right, right, right. It says um, LSC transport trucking, driver fitness data. All of that is like you know within the past two years. Yeah, that's the number of inspections. He's had zero inspections. Um, he's had zero roadside uh, performance uh, value. That's basically just saying he's never been pulled over. He's, 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 right. So he's I think I've come across some that had like some numbers. So well, I wasn't sure what. Yeah, which the number of inspections. The number of inspections. You want drivers to have a lot of inspections. Why? Right. That, that, that means they've been driving a lot and they've had their inspections. Now, what you don't want to see is that they failed the inspection. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, what you don't want to see is this: controlled substance and alcohol, basic acute uh, critical indicators. Yes, equals uh, acute uh, from investigation within previous 12, you know, that's what you don't want to, you, you don't want to see a yes on that. <laughs> okay, and I, and I found two of those, okay. <laughs> yeah, see, if you see a yes on that, you might want to stay away from that guy. <laughs> um, and that's just what I did. You know, um, truck driver fitness basics, uh, um, serious violations, indicator, acute, you know, you kind of want to stay away from those yeses. <laughs> okay. Hours of service, uh, compliance, acute critical indicator, uh, you know, violations. You know, I, now I wouldn't worry so much about the hours of service stuff because a lot okay. of drivers violate hours of I, 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 service. But this right here, okay. Un, okay. unsafe driving, yeah. you don't want to see a yes on that. <laughs> okay. Hey, unsafe driving, you don't want to see a yes on that. And, and that's why I like this site because it, it gives you a lot of valuable information. Yes, so it's, yes. It's gonna, yes. So, you, so you're kind of going to get a good idea of what type of driver you're dealing with before you call them up. Right. You know, and and so, you know, but, <laughs> you know, it, it, I don't know. Like I say, it, it's just finding these carriers that want to make money. Cause right. Because if you don't want to make money, you know, I'm like, don't really, don't waste my time. Right, literally, right. Literally, don't waste my time if you don't want to make money. So, and and in this business, when it comes to 
your side of it, our side of it, you've got to have carriers that are willing to go out there and make the money because your time is very valuable. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, two more questions, Calvin, and then and I and I appreciate it. Um, I was wondering, can I um change my email to make it more professional? Um, yes. you know, when I present it to them, it was just that's my basic email, but okay. I wanted to uh, do. Did you send in your thing for us to provide you with an email? Yes, I did. Yes. Okay, we're gonna try and catch up on those this Friday because I know we kind of got behind on them. Because mm -hmm. we've got so much going on. We have another platform that we started. Um, we've got, you know, um, some upgrades that we were doing to, um, to the back office. Um, a lot of legal stuff that we had to take care of with the Federal Motor Security Association because we had to, uh, we had to, cause we switched over from, uh, um, 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 sharing you all's fees to not charging you all anything. And we've been kind of bringing all that stuff online with DOT, not DOT, with the Federal Motor Security Association and getting everything squared away to get us separated from them because we don't charge you all anything other than your subscription fees now. Okay. So we don't take any of your of your uh, your booking fees or your or your um, dispatch fees or freight forwarding fees or your broker fees. Because the only thing that you all pay us is just your nineteen dollars ninety five cents per month. Okay. Right. So right. with that being said, uh Federal Motors Care Association they would allow to let us operate independently and absent of their monitoring and their control, which is good for us, okay, um, which is great for us. So we've just been kind of kind of getting all that stuff wrapped up and getting all of our paperwork and everything done with that so that we can be completely separate and be viewed as a learning center and not as a, um, not as a, a logistics firm. You understand? So yes, yes, which yes. Is, which, which is good for us. But we're gonna try and catch up on all that and get all those out, and that would give you a more a little bit more of a professional email. Now that's an email for people to send you emails in. Now if you want a if you want a actual email address, okay, if you want an actual working full email address, we can set one of those up. But those cost I think nine about seven ninety nine per month. Um, it's seven dollars and ninety nine cent um, per month. Uh, but we can set those up, or you can just set up your own. I mean, they're, they're not that hard to do. You can go to one and one dot com and set those up. But the one that we will set up will have you know you can tell us just how you want it. Now the one that we give you for free, it'll be your name or your company name at mydispatcher.org. dot mm org. -hmm. Okay. That's the one that we will provide for you for, 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 for free, but that's just a forwarding email. You can't send emails from that email address. You can receive emails into that email address. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so when you're passing, when you're giving it out to people, you can give them that that email address, and then they can send to it. But when, if you try to email them back, it's going to have to come from your own um, your personal email, or you can. Get a complete, you know, working full domain e email address where you can, where you have storage and you can send and receive emails too. Right. Okay. Um. So I, so I can go ahead and do that then. Yeah. If you wanted us to change it on your profile, just reply back to the uh, the emails that you get from our Square account. Okay. Just, just reply back. Um, please update my email and give us the email address you want to update it to. Okay, great, great, great. And um, let me see, I wanted to ask how to leave messages, but I kind of did that. And um, one, two, three, low boards, we're not, you're not with them anymore? No. We, we, yeah, we had a difference of, of, of <laughs> we had a difference of, of, of interpretation of our current, of our um uh, Previous contract with them, because we were um, our first, our original contract with them. They were we would have paid them like uh, for every 100 people that we signed on to our account, we would have paid them like okay. three three hundred or or it was it was extra amount of money like five hundred dollars, and then we was to pay them um, you know two hundred fifty dollars per month. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So for every 100 people that we signed on, we had to send them a $500 check, right? Oh, okay. Which was which was which was okay. That was mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. That was fine. Then when we reached the, another 100, we had to send them a $500 lump sum, right? But we would just continue to pay them $200 per month, right? Well, they changed up on us. They told us so now that they didn't change them. Said, well, you know, since we especially we went over 500. I think we went over a thousand people, or, or no? At, the, at that time, we had we we weren't even at five hundred yet. We was at three hundred and, and some odd people. Uh-huh. So on about the third or fourth changeover, where we were supposed to send them another five hundred dollars for the for the other hundred people, they denied it and said that they will change the what's called and said that we had to pay five. We had to pay. It was. It was. They said it. They tried to make it seem like they were giving us a break. By allowing us to pay thirty five dollars per month, and for every no, it was thirty five dollars per month for every five people that was on our platform. Oh no, <laughs> like, no, no, like, no! Like, that that don't work for us because we got over we got to be over a thousand yeah. people by the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, That's crazy. Yeah. I said, no. But now, I want to do with the plan that we got. You know, we, we'll pay you five hundred dollars and two. We'll pay you two hundred dollars per month, and mm-hmm. for every one of the people we sign on, we'll give you another five. We'll pay you five hundred dollars. That's crazy. <laughs> <right. laughs> You know, they 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 probably checked you out, Calvin, and saw that you know the growth potential and got greedy. Yeah, they they saw the number of they saw the number of people that we were signing up and how fast mm-hmm. we were growing because we because mm-hmm. we first started it we only had like thirty five people mm-hmm. and then within a, then within that month we jumped to like seventy five then one hundred and twenty then next thing you know we were at two hundred fifty then the next month we were bumping closer to four hundred so when we got to four hundred mark we sent them their third five hundred dollar check. And the 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 third five hundred dollar um payment and it denied our car transaction. I'm like, what's going on? So I called them up. They said, Oh well, we've changed our no, we've changed our. I said, what do you mean you changed the agreement? <laughs> <laughs> so look, but it's all good. But you know, we just kind of decided that we would separate uh, from, from them because of that. Because there's plenty of other lower boards out I'm out there, and then oh, we yeah. got to and, yeah and. And then we got into all the private low boards. So, I mean, we give y'all access to more than 100 low boards. I mean, that's a yes. lot of low boards. And a lot. 90, of... Yeah. And about mm-hmm. 90% of those are privatized low boards. These are, you know, a, a lot of low boards that we provide y'all access to, you don't, you don't, you're not going to find those loads on these subscription low boards. Right, so this, right, this right. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Well, I, I just wanted to, you know, I just want to thank you for your time and and for building this platform, especially for people like me, because you know I'm willing and able, but due to an illness, I can't work the hours, you know oh. that um that a quote unquote normal people normal person could work. But I'm willing to to put in you know to do it because I want to be a contributing member of society, and I like yeah. you know I like earning money. So I, yeah. I so I just want to thank you so so very much. Well, I totally understand. Like I said, uh, my sister has lupus and. You know, and 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 she deals with stuff like that. She was a, um, um she's kind of like a at risk youth counselor on the mm-hmm. school board. And mm-hmm. there were days when she would have to take off work because she just she literally just couldn't move. I mean, it's I mean, it's, so so I understand completely. I understand completely. Um, you know, I you know I started my own businesses when I was at the homeless shelter because you know it was just difficult. You know, finding work. And I and I just decided, look, if I'm gonna, you know, be able to support my, you know, to support my daughter and 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 live the kind of lifestyle um, that I want to live, I'm I'm gonna have to create my own work. Right. And, right. And 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 when I got into the trucking the trucking industry, and I looked at the platforms that were out there when it comes to 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 to, 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 to training. Um, yeah, you know, they just seemed like like they were lacking. Um, because when I got into the trucking industry, and when I went over to the the broker side of it, and I was training my own um, people, I had other brokerage firms and and logistics firms that were actually requesting me to come t- to their companies and travel and train their people. And you know, and that's how I got started with with creating my own platform because I was creating training modules for the companies. They would they would either fly me down or I drive down and 
and for the weekend, and, you know, and they would pay me a contract fee, you know, uh, for the weekend, you know, you know anywhere between um, thirty five hundred and seven grand to come down for, for the weekend or for a week and train their personnel. And through developing those training modules is how I came up with the platform uh, um, that I came up with because the only way you can really, really get this, you got to have stuff that you can go to and use every single day. Yes, yes. Okay, and, 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 and then on top of that, that's where our tools and resources part um, comes in. And then you got to have support. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. you got to have support. And yes. that's where the network came in. And, and then on, on top of that, the consultation. So, yes. you know, I mean, if you don't have support, if you don't have tools and resources, you know, what good are classes and courses that's all you get. Right. You know, right. I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to knock anybody else's platform, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying, to me, they just, they just don't feel the bill, especially for for for, for what you're paying for them for, for for the right. amount of money you have to pay. Because we have about oh, 300 brokers, new brokers that are in our platform that took other people's pay, you know, anywhere from 700 to 5 thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. And then they realized that they wasn't getting what they needed, and so they wound up coming over to our platform. Mm -hmm. So, but, but now, but you know, but we appreciate you all. Um, you know, that's why we we do what we do. That's why we have these type of services because you know people out there need to know that you know this is a great industry. You can make a ton of money in it, and you can literally make as much money as you want to make in it, but it's difficult to do if you don't have the right tools, resources, and and the support. And that's what our that's what we try to provide with this platform. Right. Thank you. And my a friend of mine, he's a trucker, so he recommended. He was like, you know, Nina, check this out. You know, because he knows we went to high school together, so he knows my you know my whole situation. Mm -hmm. And when when I I did it, and I love it. You just got like you have to. I appreciate the support because that's very important. But then you also have to be a Hustler, and you got to put in the work, and you got you got to apply what you're teaching, Calvin. You know, oh, yeah. and I, and I just and I thank you so much. You you and also Charles Monday. Thank you guys for finding yeah. a niche, and <laughs> I respect the hustle. Thank you so much. No problem. We really appreciate it. Charles has worked hard you know, to build his platform. Like I say, he was one of our uh, first students, and you know, and you know his story. He was hard. Right. <laughs> and he finally he finally decided he's gonna you know. I'll take our advice, and then next thing you know, he just, you know, as, as Martin Payne said, you no, know, he blew up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so, but that's what it's all about, though. Um, you know, we yes, have other, we have, we have other success stories, and I got a feeling if you keep on doing what you're doing, and just you know keep grinding, you're gonna do one of those success stories as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, our hour was about up. Um, I, I, you know, is, is there anything else you needed, real quick? Um, no, but I, I, you answered all of my questions. I only asked about one to three low board come for watching the old videos, and I didn't mm -hmm. see it on here, so that's why I asked. Okay. All right. Well, you know, now you know how to log into the the system on Saturday, so you can interact <laughs> and not have to watch the <laughs> replay. So now you know how to do it. So be sure okay. to log in every Saturday to our uh, live operational training. You know, doing our booking break from home show, and uh, you know, and you know, ask questions, interact. You know, become part of the show. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, and, and yeah, call that, call that carry back, and call that driver back, and just and, <laughs> you know, and slap him back. Uh, to reality, cause you know <laughs> that twenty five miles ain't that ain't uh, that dog ain't gonna hunt <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, so you need to get him. You need to get him on the right track. All right. Right, right. Okay. Just real quick, I can't do Saturdays because I, I go to church on that day. Oh, but yeah, I but you, I, I watch the videos that night. So so thank right. you. Well, that's why we record right. them. <laughs> all right. Yes, I appreciate. Right. Thank you so much. No problem. Right, you have a great day. All right. Bye bye. You too. Thank you. All right, everyone, that was um, Nina, uh, one of our new uh, students, and looks like she's off to a great start. 
she's off to a very, very great start. Like I said, our platform provides a, we, we, we provide this type of service because there are a number of people out there who can benefit and, and work from home and their situations are all different. And some work from home because that's what they choose to do. It's a lifestyle. Some work from home because they have to because of medical conditions or circumstances or, you know, things of that nature. But if, Either one of those is your situation or whatever your situation may be. You just want to just earn more money because, look, this industry can make you as much money as you want to. I literally have students who are making close to and over a million dollars a year. Now, by the same right, I have students who are not doing squat. But that's not because of the platform. That's because of the, of the individual. Because I'm a firm believer that if one man can do it, so can the other wife because we all put our pants on the same weight, one leg at a time. All right? So with that being said, um, we want to thank Nina for, you know, joining our platform. Thank her for her hard work, and she is committed and dedicated. And as you all can see, she will be very successful. Thank you all again. I appreciate you all. Be sure and catch us every Saturday at 1015 to 115, the Booking Freight from Home show, um, which is broadcast live from our studio here in Tallahassee, Florida, at our broadcast studio. This has been Calvin, and this has been one of our private consultations. Thank you again, and you all have a great day.